So guys, we'll talk about some Cradle to the Grave, 2003. I graduated high school when this movie came out. The 2000s was gently all day long, dude. Like, he had Kiss of the Dragon, this, like, the one, Romeo Must Die with Aaliyah. I mean, the 2000s gently ruled, ruled the movies, dude. Ruled it all. Ruled it all. And it's, it's, and of course, Expendables and stuff like that, but it's, it's pretty sad, you know, that he, that he can't do it no more because, you know, of, of his injuries and stuff that all, all the Kung Fu and, and all that stuff he, he did. And he, he hurt his body pretty bad. And, um, Mulan was his, uh, last movie Jet Li did. And, um, I forgot what condition, um, he has and he can't fight no more. But I'm so happy that I grew up in the 2000s, uh, when Jet Li was just getting started. And, um, this movie in general, dude, uh, Joe Silver did it. And, um, Joe Silver, one of his first movies that he did was, if you go watch Roger Rabbit, you're afraid of Roger Rabbit. And if you go to the opening scene of that movie, the guy that's talking to Roger Rabbit in the opening scene of that movie is Joe Silver. And so he was an actor before he produced all these great, great movies. And this is one of them, of course, Matrix. And pretty much the 2000s, dude, Joe Silver and his company, Silver Pictures, like ruled the freaking movie theaters with uh warner brothers like he did hit after hit after hit after hit and you know he, he just creates some great great pictures and this is one of my favorite pictures that he produced and um yeah and of course dmx Gabriel Union, you know, she, she did Bad Boys 2, and then this, or vice versa. Yeah, she did pretty much back-to-back, because -back, Bad Boys 2 came out around that time, too. So, and of course, Anthony Anderson, he did, uh, after this, he did probably Transformers. He was probably working on filming Transformers, getting the script for that. Cause that came that came out two thousand six or seven, and so that was probably his n next movie was that, and um, the main bad guy in uh, Cradle to the Grave. When I was watching the movie, and I was listening to um, the guy talk, I was like, that guy sounds very familiar, and I was like. Holy shit, he is from John Wick. He was the bad guy in John Wick. And um Mark, that's his name. It's kind of a weird name for you know, it's, it's like a white dude's name, named Mark. But um Yeah, he played in John Wick and he's he's in this movie as a bad guy. So yeah. So it's it's pretty pretty cool to go back to watch old movies to find out people like that was in like John Wick and Gabriel Union and all that stuff. And of course Tom Arnold, you know, he 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 was hilarious. And um yeah, th this is a a great movie. And um even though this is an old Blu-ray it looked fantastic on my 82 inch TV with my uh, with my new uh, 4K player. I got Dolby Atmos ready. That's uh, when I was picking up my player. That now I'll, t I'll uh, put a link in the description. But when I was buying it, it's it, at that uh, it was I got it like two three months ago. And it was the second highest rated 4K Blu-ray player. And because my lens on my other one just gave out one day. And um, I was reading I was reading some of the reviews. And I was like, 
like I said, Adobe Atmos. That was the best quality about this about this player. I was like, I'm sold. That's all I care about. If 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 it has W Atmos, I'm good. I'm Gucci. But anyway, guys, this is one of my favorite movies that I grew up um, in in the 2000s with Jet Li. And like I said, Kiss the Dragon and all those other great movies that he's he's done. And um, it, it's it's sad. So I have some great memories to look back on. So y'all have a good day. Peace out.